The second variation that we run off of our GAP family is our fly sweep, uh, our fly read package, which uh, power read, uh, those are the terms that everybody uses. However, we will use power read and we will use trap read and we use those two uh, to counter off of each other based on what we're seeing defensively. We prefer to run this what we, with what we call or refer to as a convoy block as opposed to naked, which I will explain uh, thoroughly. So again, when we run our power read assignments, essentially what we're doing is, is we're taking our fullback out of the interior run concept and we're making him a convoy block. So uh, in what we're doing to account for that sixth defender, instead of blocking that person, we're gonna read that person. So you can do that for any number of reasons. Maybe the guy's a really good player. Uh, maybe the situation calls for you to you know, potentially put the ball on the edge versus inside. Maybe you wanna run your quarterback. Uh, maybe you're getting a lot of movement or action out of certain people. There's a lot of reasons to do that. So I think by carrying it and carrying it in a simple way, it's, it's, it's easy for your guys. So again, what we're going to do is we're either going to wrap and read the defensive end or we're going to wham and read the linebacker. And that's how we play off of it. But what we do is, so again, if the assignments are going to be the exact same for the 5-0 lineman. The super back or the full back is what's going to be referred to as a convoy block. Okay, A convoy block is our fly read series is two, package, two plays packaged together. It is an inside run for the quarterback, a standard power or trap play for the quarterback, package with a fly sweep. The 5-0 lineman and the quarterback only care about the inside base run. All the other skilled players, their responsibility is if we're handing the fly sweep, which we view as just basically a bubble game, we wanna get their job as a responsible to getting the ball in the perimeter. So what we talk about is the, the super back, we borrow him he is now the convoy block, okay? And, and we, we install these plays where the standard way is for the tailback to be the ball carrier. However, we can also tag the motion guy. I will show cutups here in a second of what happens when the tailback and the superback are on the same side. We have a call that we go through which exchanges who the convoy block is. So when we run our power read series, the quarterback is going to extend, shuffle, and read the C-gap defender. Now, we don't teach, uh, the, the, we don't te overcomplicate it. We make the read for the quarterback as simple as possible and here's what it is. If you can get the ball out of your hand and we gain yards, do it. So that, that to us is the number one thing is if you can give the ball to somebody more athletic and that person's gonna gain yards, that's good because there's more potential for a big play and there's less potential for you having to get hit. So again, this is what happens uh, this is exactly how it works. So our power read play is the exact same. Well, the fullback, instead of blocking the C-gap on the wham, he is now the convoy. So the convoy's assignment is this. Is you're responsible for an arc release and you are blocking the first threat to the ball carrier. Not, your job is to be a convoy and deliver the ball carrier out to the numbers. You want to make sure that that happens. So what we teach the convoy block is look outside of you to however many players are detached on the offense. Maybe it's zero, which means uh, maybe it's one players, maybe it's two players. You count in and you've got the first unaccounted for number is the guy you're probably gonna have to block. And again, I can show you on film here in a sec, which makes it very simple. Now, there is a scenario where if we're borrowing a guy, which means we're using the, uh, so the tailback's job is very easy. He is always the ball carrier unless we tag someone else to carry the ball. If that's the case, he then leads for that player and becomes the convoy block. So we only have one convoy on all of these. If the tailback is, if we ever tag in the tailback as the convoy block, he makes a call to the fullback, which allows him to block the read at that point. Once that happens, the quarterback cannot be wrong. So we on the, this scenario down here in this box, regardless of the, the blocking assignments, is we're going to block that guy. The quarterback's not wrong if he keeps it and runs the power play because everybody's blocked. He's not wrong if we give it because the ball should get to the numbers. The quarterback just knows he wants to get us into the best look possible. Now, he'll still read that guy if he's shuffling for width. Well, we should be able to block that guy, and there should be a very monstrous hole there. If he comes into play, we're going to make that wham block, which, again, by our kids, 
being taught take that block vertical, it's not as big of an issue as far as that guy be trying to, you know, we're not trying to kick that guy out and then he can play both. So that allows us to, uh, to run our power read series really well.